Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Today's episode, we're gonna be working on this 2008 Jeep Commander. If you haven't seen the previous episode, I bought this thing for $500 and the goal is to flip it and continue flipping cars until I reach to a Lamborghini. In this video, we're gonna be working on fixing all the issues, seeing how much money we can get for this thing. So let's get into the video. Let's start with fixing all these fender flares. previous episode I noticed that there is a few extra things that are wrong with this Jeep right here this headlight and this grill pretty much not even good went to local salvage yard and I found some new pieces so I'm gonna work on is removing and replacing this headlight now to do that you have to remove this bumper I got the front grill all in there, the bumper reassembled in this new headlight. Check this out, looks so much better. Now I'm gonna move on to the rear bumper and that is gonna take a little while because it has to be sanded and painted. So I'm gonna move on to the rear bumper. bumper is off now if you look it in here all these little sensors were busted that's another reason why because when you would put the car in reverse it always wanted to beep at you while you're driving it was super annoying I got a whole new bumper and we're gonna have to get in to start sanding the bumper and but before I paint it I have to remove all these plastic pieces off from here and start sanding. So I'm gonna remove all those and then move on to sanding. Now that I got all the plastics removed, I'm gonna have to give this thing a good wash because it's pretty, pretty filthy if you look right here. Pretty filthy. And then I can get into sanding this thing, make it all nice and clean and ready for some paint. So now that all the sanding's done and prepping, I have zero idea how to paint. So I enlisted the help of the old man over here. He's gonna help me. So I'm gonna be switching over to my phone so I don't ruin my camera here, but we gotta prep the surface and then get to painting. that the surface is all cleaned and prepped. You don't want to touch it at all, right? 
Because you don't want to get any grease or well, anything? Well, no, you don't want to have any oils from your skin touching the surface or else the paint won't adhere to it. He's going to teach me how to paint. You going to teach me how to paint tonight? That's the plan. All right, let's do it. Okay. See, this is what you do. It's four to one right here. This is a mixture, okay? Yep. So our paint line's at four, just above four. You see this? Just above four. Yeah. So we want it, the one part reducer, to be right here. See, this says four. Four. So we just go with a reducer just over that four. Alrighty guys, so it's been a few days. Uh, I made an error on the bumper. Well, we made an error on the bumper, but I'm gonna show you and then we're gonna re-go through and have to resand it, unfortunately, but I don't know if you guys will be able to see it on camera, but we didn't put down enough paint on here. That was my bad. I asked the guy how much paint I was gonna need. He told me the wrong amount. I told him what we were painting, so this is all part of the learning process. So I mean, trying new things. So I guess I think God it's just a little paint. We'll just have to re-sand it and repaint it. So I'm gonna get into sanding this thing. Well, I just got done spraying the bumper. I have to let it sit for 24 hours, but uh, we'll see how I did. And I think that this is going to end the video here and hopefully the bumper turns out good. So I'll see you on the next one. Peace.